Hello friends, welcome back to Cool IT Help. In this tutorial session, we are going to install the VAMP server on Windows 11. Let's begin. The first thing we need, a download link. This is the download link and the same link given in the description for you. Copy the link from the description, come to the browser, paste in the address bar and press enter. You will see the official download page of the VAMP server. Now we will go to the download section. Here we have two options. First one is for the 64-bit windows option and the second option is for 32-bit windows. In my case, I have 64 bits, so I am going to click on it. Once you click, you will see this kind of pop-up form. And now here we don't need to fill anything. We can leave it blank. And now we have to click here on this link to download it directly. Once you click on it, you will redirect it to the website source forge. And here you will see downloading will five to 10 seconds. On the left hand side, you can see the downloading is in progress and the file size is 644 MB and this downloading will take 2 to 5 minutes and this is totally depend on your internet speed. Once the downloading is finished, you have to simply double click on this exe to launch the installer. And this way you will see the first window setup language. And we will choose the language first, which is the English and click OK. And after that, you will see this uh, license agreement window here. We have some information about the uh, general user license and agreement. So you can go through it, then select the first radio button. Click next and you will see some more inf important information about installation and what is the requirement. Click next and then you will see the destination location where this is going to be installed. So I would suggest do not change it. Leave this thing as it is. Now here uh, this will display all the components that are going to be installed on your system. The first one is WAMP Manager, Apache and then PHP different version. Then we have the MariaDB different version like the, this. And also we have the option for the MySQL. We can select the older one 5.7 or we can choose the 8.0 as well. So we are going with the default choices. Also you can see all the applications which are default selected and which are mandatory. Click next. And then you will see another window which is for the start menu folder. So I think this name is more relevant for our installation. We will not do anything change here click next then this will show you the summary of the installing component on your system so everything is all right click next install button and you will see a progress bar of the installation we have to wait for the finish of this installation once the installation is finished we will do some more things Okay, finally you will see this message. You have to click on the yes because I don't want to open my VAMP uh, server localhost on the Edge browser. That's why I have selected to change the browser. So in case you want to open uh, with the default one, you can go with that or you want to change it. So follow this procedure. So I am selecting the Chrome in my case. This way I will select, I will click open. Now again, this will show you another message. The text editor VAMP server will use is going to be used the default one which is notepad.exe. So I am putting this thing as it is. I am not going to change. You want to change it? You can select the notepad plus plus as well. So you have to collect. You have to click on the yes button. Okay, now the final. Uh, Installation message you will see on the screen. There are some more uh, useful information on this next now Finally, we are on the last uh, step. So this is Completed and now we can click on the finish button once the We have to come back on the desktop click on the VAMP server icon and you will see such kind of screen in front of you very soon you will see here in the System tray panel, uh, you have this icon, the WordPress icon, which is green. And now we will go here, click on the local host. Once you click on the local host, this will open up in the Chrome browser.
And now you can see the information MySQL 58, MariaDB 10, PHP 578 support is available. Also, we have the server configuration information details here. And in the bottom, we have the tools. Also, we have the link for the PHP My Admin. Once you click on it, you will redirect it to here. You have to put to put the the admin you uh, default admin is the root and the password is blank. Click login. Then you will see PHP My Admin home screen. And now, guys, you have to go back here in the system tray. Click on the icon. You will see these options. To start all services, you can stop all services, and you can restart all services you have all the option if you want to exit from the vamp server do the right click and select the exit and then you will see the icon change from green to orange that means this is shut down and finally this will be removed from the tray again you have to launch it you have to go to the search window and then type vamp server then you will see the app name click on it to relaunch and restart all the services of the VAMP server. So guys, this is all about the installation of this VAMP, this VAMP server on Windows 11. I hope you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful. Please hit the like button and please subscribe our channel to learn more. And for now, thanks for watching. Cool IT help.